plan, the United States federal judiciary should recognize the customary obligation under the Convention of, on the Rights of the Child prohibit restricting application for asylum to the United States to separated family members. Contention one is hostage taking Trump's solution to family separation since the devil's bargain intended to circumvent due process, apply for asylum, or get your kid back, but not both and maybe neither. Bullet 18 essentially kidnapped 2,000 children. Trump is now offering if parents give up their asylum claims, they can have their kids um, that, that some parents have accepted deportation and, and been deported alone. Trump's using children as illiteral hostages to short circuit the due process protections. Trump forced immigrants to give up seeking asylum using kids as hostages is inhumane. This wasn't ended by Trump's exo only restricting asylum solves. Lind 18, 2053 families are still separated. DHS is promising to reunite parents, and but not while they're still fighting on an asylum claim. Parents had, had felt pressure to withdraw their asylum claims so they could be reunited. Trump's executive order and and, and widespread, widespread family separation, but people crossing parts of it, ports of entry subject to deportation. The only parents uh, likely to be in immigration to detention for any length of time are fighting to stay in the United States legally by making an asylum claim. Under a new reunification for removal plan, a parent freed from detention might lose the ability to communicate, much less be reunited. Sessions is trying to make it much harder for asylum seekers to may have their claims approved. It's a deliberate political strategy to create a moral panic in order to farce a compromise with white supremacist agendas. You should refuse it. Jacobson, 18 Trumps, holding 2,300 children uh, for ransom in exchange for an in 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 immigration bill. The vast majority are being denied due process, then for forcibly separated from their uh, from, from their children. A deliberate tactic rushing up this policy to generate the crisis now faced as a means of pressuring Congress, congressional GP members to pass severe restrictions on immigration. A xenophobic dog and pony show intended to, uh, to, to fail puts the children at a greater risk of harm, willing to sign the death warrants of countless others to pursue a wider and less diverse America. It does not deter it, migration and it produces irreversible epigenetic toxic stress. Glasgow's at all 18 uh, to unnecessary tear apart families across the border to see our better life is immoral. Trump's goal is to strong arm families into accepting deportation to get their children back. It is also despicable that the government would use children as a bargaining chip. As bargaining chips, this policy is tantamount to state sponsored traumatization. The studies demonstrate an irreparable harm create toxic stress which can damage brain development into the chronic conditions and does nothing to make Americans safe. Intergenerational accumulation of stress of toxic stress makes every impact inevitable. Can now in part around innate. Ending the cyclical nature of toxic trespass down from person to person and through families in any in situation prevents war and violence. It can express itself as anxiety, depression, rage and substance abuse, disease and suffering of both mind and body. There is no greater hindrance to human survival. Inevitably leads to continual and unconscious perpetuation of suffering from generation to generation. Treat this as a side constraint which makes, when they can compare, since there are no political consequences can possibly justify taking children hostage as a method. So in 18, if the law really did mandate that family separation policy and the legal reform were politically infeasible, then that would that still would not do would still still not be enough to justify family separation? It would we, if we forcibly deport them back to places where they are likely to force a face oppression, privatization, and often even death. We become complicit in the wrongs they suffer. Even in the case of of otherwise just laws, there must be a moral limit to the means to use to enforce them. The child separation policy crosses any reasonable line. It, it inflicts harm grossly disproportionate to any others. The children had a little choice. Attempting consequentialist objectivity actively regresses your empathetic development, but voting AF deprograms racial bias broadly. Hampton and Vermont for this 18. Family separation demands we use our scientific knowledge to tell the truth about how this policy is causing, is causing harm to the long, long list of damages and limited to children, or even to families that cause harm to all of us who, uh, who come to accept this, uh, this practice in the form of dehumanization and loss of empathy. Neuroimaging studies have, have also revealed the prefrontal cortex is essential for, for, to, our, for, to our ability to recognize each other as humans. Family separation intentional will, will either cause us to re 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 recoil and act or accept inaction will fortify the process of dehumanization. Comparing body counts is epistemologically impossible, but we can and know how to do that. This is killing people and their debts are avoidable. Lind, 18, family separation, have a body count. Um, Munoz died by suicide oh, after being separated from his wife and three-year-old child. Pedro Pacheco had his throat had his, had his, had his, had his, these deaths were avoidable if different policy choices had been had been made. The deportees have become a prey for violent criminal groups who had, had whole, who hold up for ransom. We don't know how many people decided to, to, to drop their asylum claims rather than stay separate from their children and return to be killed. It's always impossible to actually measure the death toll of policy. But what, what, we do know now, what we do know now is that people are dead who uh, who, who, would, who would not have been disregarding alleged existential risk results from conjunctive link change, cumulative probabilities, negligible, making Magnitude first approaches incoherent in the face of multiple competing risk counselor and dust. In exact calculated risk by multiplying the expected loss by their probability, it leads to a magnumulation probability that leads to over tends to overestimate the danger and risk management breaks the down takes takes uncertainty as constitutive. There are no objective criteria for the measure for measuring dangers. Even the most absurd scenarios can possibly can gain can, can the possibility by construing a chain of potentialities and probable events are linked. All the likelihood of the scenario dwindles with each step. Contention two is the convention on the rights of the child, despite not ratifying the US's logic incorporated CRC into domestic law by inabiding by it until now. It's that's Global precedent said CLA 18, which section to go to the child, child, child rights in the United States, a shift away from, away from child welfare in the CRC, the United States is directly willing to further align the US law with the convention, a number, a number of other rights, including the children, not be, not be separated, zero. 
Taunts, taunts, intentionally deprive children of the basic rights of immigration policy of sensei. Disturbing shift that I explicitly exploit the vulnerability of children rather than you, rather than utilize the state power to protect and empower them. It has set an alarming precedent for which all children can be used to affect political gain. Federal courts have already barred formal family separation, yet it continues ad hoc, invoking customary obligation under the CRC against the informal practice of conditioning asylum on it is necessary to overcome attempts at circumvention by your 18 uh, parent, parents have to, wait their, have to wait being held separately from their children while three awaiting American steps. What did, uh, what did appear to be new, however, was the purpose of application of as a strategy for de 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 deterring immigration migration itself. Swift condemnation not achieved much traction within the current political climate, though policy irredeemably at odds with the CRC, a strong basis that near ubiquitous adoption, near goes rise to customary norm status, which limits all states, the most promising countries, the uh, uh, most promising counters, the DHS de deterrent strategy, therefore lies in depriving the deterrent itself of an enabling condition upon which it, it depends more than the mere byproduct of the immigration enforcement actions here. Separation becomes the very mechanism of that enforcement. The, the, uh, the central thought you're doing in conflict with us, you and CRC might at best be resisted on that. On that basis, my migrant family separated. Separation takes place in the complete absence of any due process. U.S. courts that held that children should not be separated from their parents. Separation is thus out of step with both the Article 9, even even more so when separation is undertaken with the express purpose of determining of deterring parents. These are uh, these are these are continuities that matter in the context of a presumptive binding obligation to uphold and abide by the UNCRC binding on the U.S. is even in uh, absence of ratification. One of the clearest contemporary cases by every measure U.S. CRC implies the essential uh, the essential signifiers of the um, uh, acts and customary norms. These courts have shown the acceptance of the convention, international law, in family law cases. The Supreme Court has to wait each applicable provision under the UNCRC if only through the exercise of child as a pro 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 rights and bearing subjects that this can be disrupted and effectively resisted and that bullshit global implementation dates in 14. The U.S. should drop the convention because there is international leadership is best from the is best from the inside. The U.S. CRC has been proven to be powerful. They lacking enforcement. See that this soft law can be very powerful. It has incredible norm, norm crediting. Really, because the U.S. has not ratified CRC, we are, we, we, we're not part of any aiding, aiding any of those any of those forms of addressing policies. The U.S. has so much expertise to potential shared information CRC forms in modeling policies. There are still much more we can more, more, much more to be done, including work on the topics in which the United States has incredible expertise to contribute. The world can greatly benefit from more direct U.S. leadership in protecting children. Uh, the U.S. ratification of CRC bolsters the uh, bolsters the efforts of uh, the world community needs need need, need, need the CRC move when necessary changes in our federal and state law policy that will enhance the well-being of more marginalized children. There's an ethical obligation to empirics prove that it saves lives of millions of children. Sustaining commitment is key. Lucky 14 civilization has been closed under rights by the recognized and is not necessarily excluded. Through the sustained political commitment, the CRC has taken, has taken action in every virtually every nation. So, that children under the age of five die every from the cause that we know we, we know now how to prevent. We have a responsibility to reach those lagging in, lagging in the martial progress, in the, in the martial progress of moral imperative to accelerate our progress in fulfilling the universal uh, mandate of the convention. We must be able to build, build, build on that progress work for universal implementation, nuclear weapons, genocide, our conflict, environmental threats, climate change, impacts are being felt in communities all over the world. And the part of that impact is being borne by children. Their lives as children have improved. Today's better understanding is informing the better focused policies uh, for children. The number of children under five who die reduced by 5 50 percent. The greatest progress is in, in, in the least developed, is, is in the least developed countries. Uh, the world today is not what we, we would wish, but progress has been made in many other important areas. Past one five years to prove that change is possible due to the emphasis of the convention placed on children to uh, closing equity gaps for the world. The progress mode is universally shared and equitable. We must work for universal implementation, but renewed commitment from the world is still required. Governments need to put in the, in the place of resource to make, the, to make good on their promises to, uh, to children. That is part of the convention, the commitment to the better future for all. Good, Tasia? Yeah. Cool. Uh, my first question is, your first piece of evidence on the CRC advantage indicates that pre... The first piece of evidence indicates that previously, before we started separating, the United States government started separating children, that the U.S. was in full compliance with the CRC. What do we uniquely need to implement international law now, as opposed to just returning to the pre-separation time? Uh, well, it's important to incorporate the CRC into existing domestic law to make sure that it's durable and enforceable in the future. Uh, all of your arguments about how it's possible to comply prove that we need certainty for other nations and for people who are migrating here. Cool. If it's possible they can just change per president mm -hmm. that's a terrible way yeah. for migrant so that I guess that brings me to my next question your evidence indicates that I guess federal courts implementing the CRC can overcome circumvention I guess what makes Trump uniquely likely to follow the app due to the implementation of CRC well like presidents have to abide by court orders so they would get sanctioned by the court so so in get... so recently Trump has slowed down and not reunified families even in the face of court orders what makes the app different uh, those were yeah, sure. Yeah, so those quarters were very specific to children under five years old. So he is in the process of reunifying children under five years old with a family. The app is obviously much broader than that. Also, his uh, posturing over Twitter, which is, I'm guessing what your partner is probably talking about, is not indicative of actually federal law. No, I'm, I'm talking about recently the court made a ruling that said you have, within the next five days, need to reunify all these children. The, court, the sorry, Trump wrong. administration... I just think that's not correct. That's, like, factually wrong. That's, that's it, you're, you're factually correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
cool. Uh, your first advantage, yeah. uh, one of your cards indicates that once the children are separated, they have already irrepar have irreparable harm. What does the app solve uniquely uh, past that, I guess? Like, obviously, the more time parents are kept away from their children, that is like a moral bad. If your argument is just like, they've been gone for like one day, impact's inevitable, that's like very silly, uh, because people being away from their family for a long time is bad. Okay. Your argument is just like, it's irreversible. Cool. It's very the Kessler evidence indicates that multiple internal link chains and longer internal link chains make probability harder to calculate. I guess, what makes the AFS internal link chains distinct from a disad we would read? Well, like, obviously there are some chains to the advantage, but your DAs are like, the plan will change the midterms extinction from Trump that rely on a whole host of series of chains that are far too long to be reasonable within human calculation that are I guess like probability. why doesn't your app that relies on Trump to follow through with a court order efficiently and fastly f uh, assumes Trump that Trump has the ability to follow through and effectively Trump mean by that you law from have the CRC in small. Yeah. stops not reuniting families and, and we solve that's so it there's like one step that, that's not that's true. It. He has to find the families to reunify with. You don't have assurance that he will reunify unless it's just because you read evidence. Is we read a card that says Trump would stop doing the policy. So it's, if we read evidence that establishes the internal link chain, that's sufficient? Obviously not. You have like a series of like nine cards that make one claim. We have one. There's a difference between solvency and conjunctive internal link chains. It's So exciting. Who's got money for lunch tomorrow? Ooh, this is it. He's got cats on now. Everyone should put stickers on their timers. It just makes them more whimsical. All right, the order's going to be five off case, the coercion advantage, the CRC advantage. Cease call for any family separation, reproduce exceptional neoliberal regimes of government mortality, turns the F intensifies violence, described by the YC, Williams and Massaro in 17 detention release, create new vulnerability to examination of immigrant enforcement, focus on policy, a secure the role of homogenized populations, play in a and shaping geopolitical relations. Exceptions have been made to allow for families to reunite the, uh, the privileged place of the family is tied to nationalist, patriarchal notions of ideal citizens that immigration policies reproduce and mobilize, and which bumper against the free flow of DD and bodies and sub dangers across the transnational space of criminalization of migrants has been made possible by overarching neoliberal ideologies and personal responsibility that disregard the larger structural 
factors that compound migration, children have an exceptional space in the US imaginary, and that complicates the attention of families. Children are framed as non agent objects who cannot be held fully responsible for their illegal status and thus serving of different, de different detention standards. Border enforcement was linked with terrorism. The separation of parents from their children became systematic, directing DHS to end this practice, began expanding family detention, allowing uh, DHS to abide by directives while also avoiding releasing family units that implicates immigration policies and a rising prison industrial conflict in which detention is always a logical, uh, logical endpoint. The administration can use to look for, uh, for legal and procedural loopholes to enable the continued uh, detention of families. Now, the alternative is to abandon borders altogether, hunting the 14. Borders manifest sovereignty. This authority works as an access to power of the foreign nationals and stateless persons and uh, means of control over the movement of the state's own subjects. The uh, act of trespassing or over the limitation of sovereign power becomes visible. The state will do whatever is needed, but it will not relinquish control over the other. Doing away with the notion of the borders remained an anathema to the, the international order based on states. The borders constitute the agents uh, through which the process of including exclusion of practice, although uh, the, through which the state is able to exert control of the targeting of other as migrants, uh, forms a part of a broader strategy of community building. The separation of the physical body from the body politic has been central to politics. Next off is T. Legal immigration is exclusively admission in the U.S. under LPR status, Chang and Four. Legal immigration is defined as persons who are lawfully admitted to a permanent residence in the U.S. That other immigration includes another as person and those not seeking permanent residence. They don't mean as asylees explicitly can adjust their status, but aren't granted LPR. USCIS and 18 asylum may adjust to LPR if physically present for at least one year after being granted asylum is admissible as an immigrant at the time of examination for adjustment offers. Prefer interpretation for debatable limits. There are hundreds of potential temporary visa cases that can dash links to coordinate generic temporary counterplans and green card bad dissents provide essential functional limits that keep the topic manageable. Limit limited topics are necessary for in-depth research and rigorous pre term preparation. Next off. Midterms. Dems win now because of family separation. Borough 6, uh, 19, migrant children be separated from parents uh, ahead of the midterm elections in Bolton Dems while uh, forcing an increasing number of Republicans to break from Trump. Uh, Republican conference to cover Crow, a candidate to obviously conference that the Congress uh, man can't run from his support for zero tolerance. Uh, Fitzpatrick and other Rumble Republican plans to visit the worst. He was going down, uh, going on down there. Family separation is the issue which determines GOP majorities, keeping the controversy alive. Is key to swing independence by Republicans, suburban women in key districts. Uh, still, uh, still is up in 18. The head of the NRCC is tasked with holding on to the majority of post family separation, allowing any and all house candidates to break with the president. Very clear sign that stop fighting this fight because the target chance is badly uh, among independents, moderates, women with the ballot for the house control will be fought. It's not an oversight to say that the majority rests solely on whether swing season suburbs can hang on. Separation is the equivalent of a big neon flashing sign. Do not vote for us sign. There are 140 days until the election. That is the defining moment of the final months. Is uh, bad, very bad news for Republicans. Now, climate progress coming now. Dem Congress key to better backsliding, which avoids warming. This is Peters in 17. To limit warning, experts said that emissions ought to be. In 2020, what happens in 2018 will begin that transitions underway. EVs could happen and quickly and exponentially when Trump uh, uh, when, when Trump announced uh, uh, plans to withdraw the international community, responded by forcing even more support techniques to be implemented in enormous problem of uh, progress or at least mitigation of the worst results hinge on the midterm election, which could shed power to the more common family party warming causing extinction. Climb 14. As warming approaches two degrees, there's a risk of nonlinear typing elements. We are on track to four degrees uh, marked by heat waves, declining food, loss of ecosystems, and sea level rise. There's no certainty that adaptation is possible. The analysts think that we're in for even more than four degrees, six degrees. Uh, we'll have catch up implications like the Lucy Method from permafrost. Uh, climate change is becoming an existential crisis. Climatologists were, are not committed to theatrical rantings. All of us are now convinced that warming poses a danger to civilization. Next off, populism. Court Corporation of CIL triggers populist backlash. Global feedback loops escalate to war and collapse all international institutions, which turns the F. Bosner in 17 populist backlash from around the world's targeted I law and upswing the populist sentiment around the world's greatest threat to liberal international legal institution. Trump has criticized numerous international organizations, uh, which reflects an increasing isolation sentiment, elected to repudiate norms and, tre uh, and treaties and trade, security, climate change, and the loss of war overwhelming of just a backlash. Lane on corporation of I law and domestic constitutional law by the courts by depriving the people of influence the po uh, over policy through legislation. Courts should not incorporate into the domestic law unless Congress authorize them to. Confirming suspicion that decision makers like the nature of the elites and ordinary people produce significant political residents and then the global pops backlash by blame Iowa for insecurity and economic dis uh, dislocation as a way to undermine the uh, establishment elite Trump brother victory as anti internationalism attack treaties, human rights, and immigrants of uh, people who have internalized Iowa might come to reject it. The support when it seems to benefit them when international legal integration coincides with economic growth, people support it. Now they do not resent and build this sort of pressure from decentralization when the central powers res uh, war results. Now, populist backlash directs the liberal order, global wars escalate to extinction to all in 16 better for populism fail early. We are starting um, um, picking the liberal peace. What does world like global war look like? Uh, Turning the liberals and bold middle and revisionist powers, flaring one another with nuclear weapons, and where actually populism it resembles a war and democracy. If the punitive trade wars turn to the peace, liberal multilateralism, the common wins through the negotiation of global populists with terror past with global liberalism. Russia, China, Turkey bring up the size of ability for war when they fall out, and foreign to maintain public goods, including the future of the planet, remain evergreen. Now, the counterplan. 
The United States Congress to and implement the Convention of the Rights of the Child, including a prohibition of restricting the application for asylum in the United States to separate family members and self executing provisions for application, solves both of their advantages, which is their peer and David Sevens and visiting 18 Trump separate and separation migrant uh, migrant children is problematic. And treaty signed by all UN members except for the US, the CRC forbids separate children. The congressional leaders demanding that the treaty be submitted for application have a treaty uh, regarding the children's rights to be a high priority. Now they will. Case caution. ICE is evil and doesn't, give, uh, doesn't care about the affirmative to violate the law to continue campus separation, ramp up detention, perform in TAN 315,000s while other asylum seekers meet held in jail. They all follow procedure at the word of life for asylum, which screened by government officials and found a uh, credible asylum claim instead of offering a humane response. Trump has locked them up indefinitely. The arbitrary imprisonment of people as part of the administration's large right to determine immigration seek, uh, from seeking refuge in the U.S. The uh, administration's detention of asylum seekers is a cruel way to violate the Constitution that breaks the U.S. immigration law and international law goes against Homeland Security. So Homeland Security's po uh, policies now. The act doesn't solve because asylum applications will get rejected for other reasons. It doesn't solve because the feds will detain parents in the same building as it's called reunification, and then keep both in cage without access to one another. The Afghans solve trauma, Sky, yeah. and uh, 18, even if all kids return, the damage already done, expert trauma will have long lasting effects. Now, the Afghans solve for kids whose parents have already been deported. You should prioritize extinction, new risk calculus, risk only ignores future generation, global devastation, Mitchell, and 16 institutions need to pay attention to developing the threats uh, that they're in our existence. These events present a non zero possibility that homo sapiens might go extinct. Their consequences are enormous, was not good as existing less, but the future happiness, even the tiny reduction is expected to be value greater than ordinary good. We should be concerned about events that could cause devastation, and you, they make them make them disprove dissent, the basis search for truth when negotiation within the round. Otherwise, to make collapses in the FBLs, they have just many internal links as we do, and the, you should reject their ethical blackmail now. Uh, CRC advantage. They can't solve global signal all their evidence in the context of ratification, which they don't do. Uh, as an after a future world back always exists because people in the real world don't know about durable fiat. Now, Trump ignores the courts. Uh, travel ban proves forward. In 424, Trump will likely face adverse decisions. Trump has been hostile to judicial constraints to an unprecedented degree. Immigration officials defied multiple court earnings, halting the travel ban. The court's history suggests that if they hand a major defeat, Trump's own history says that he won't take it well. It's hard to imagine more fertile political environment where Trump could defy the Supreme Court in addition to the stable of political allies. The president enjoys a pliant Republican establishment that's unwilling to rein him in and a powerful media apparatus that revises every decision. These conditions prove dire for the rule of law norms that our order and all this needed is single tweet the Supreme Court's decision is fake news. Let them see to try and enforce it. Now, there's no spillover in Paris, Miles Rock, and one uh, can't skip the line such search. Uh, available evidence can't skip the line such search. And available evidence is just a link between U.S. behavior and international, uh, international norms. Europe, uh, Asia, and Latin America move towards human rights policies while ignoring U.S. unwillingness. 191 countries have had CRC with outweighing U.S. non adherences of little import, uh, little important practice. Now, don't vote for generic impact safety when a specific scenario for escalation to win this advantage. Now, prevention, uh, uh, intervention for prevention causes escalation and does, uh, doesn't solve. Uh, uh, in Paris, Thunder, Schoberg, and 18 prevention makes so much sense. Uh, if only uh, it was so necessary for the one practice previous human emissions that tried and failed despite all efforts. Uh, uh, it's already difficult to obtain consensus, even less likely that states will agree on what potential conflicts are measures to prevent them prevention as its own risk outside influence, turning a locally manageable problem into a full fledged international conflict. In fact, that's got a conflict. This is why we want you to do more speaking drills. Yeah? Okay, uh, so let's start with topicality. Uh, Asylees auto receive LPR after one year. Yes. How do you lose LPR bad days? What is the DA that is intrinsic to LPR that you lose? Asylees auto receive LPR after one year. Uh, well, they don't auto receive it. They still, have to get their app, they still have to get their application approved. Well, yes, they auto automatically. There's an examination the process States. where they could potentially not get LPR. Okay. Uh, so, what is an LPR DA? Like, which what is the intrinsic DA that's based on LPR? Um, there's like a bunch of remittances disadvantages okay. that are related to uh, LPR. So a topical laugh under your interpretation would allow like 500 EB-5 investors to enter the United States. How does that link to the remittances DA? I don't know. I didn't cut the remittances DA. Sure. Uh, so That's a Sam uh, question. Let's talk about midterms. Uh, what does the Democratic Congress do to convince Trump to adopt pro-climate policies? Uh, so, yeah, our internal link evidence is about backsliding. Um, it cites things like technology and electric vehicles, both of which can be framed in economic terms rather than moral terms for climate change. Uh, so your evidence mentions Paris. Trump already withdrew from that. They cut a bunch of coal regulations now. What is Congress going to do to stop it? Well, Congress can prevent future cuts to regulations. So, like, Congress will pass a bill to stop Trump from doing it? Uh, well, Trump's they can stop future cuts. They can veto them. Not veto because the Congress, right? But they can uh, pass legislation. They can kind of stop some of the policies from occurring. Okay. Certainly, uh, the Republican Congress is going to so, be much, much worse for climate uh, change. Our evidence indicates that any delay uh, is, would prevent us okay. from uh, being able to uh, mitigate or adapt the to the impacts. The ratification counterplan, is populism a benefit? Yes. Okay, uh, so is your argument on populism why it doesn't like that these uneducated coal miner populists will somehow distinguish between congressionally delegated treaty authority 
and judicially activist enforcement of policies. Like, how does that make any sense? Our positive reference is actually fairly good on this argument, uh, and it indicates that the reason is that these uh, folks would backlash is because of the perceived legitimacy of the courts versus Congress. I mean, because I the courts are unelected, they would feel like their vote uh, in the previous elections would be uh, circumvented by the affirmative also, rather than Congress. So, like, if Congress, Congress, is, not, Congress is not appointed, Congress is not appointed. No, the They're courts are appointed. appointed. Huh? But the courts are. They're appointed. unelected, though. But like, why wouldn't they blame Trump if Gorsuch all of a sudden was like, you have to abide by the CRC? I mean, what? No like, means of the app would probably have to involve like the liberal justices ruling. I think it's a little silly to say all the conservative justices. Then who's the conservative that flips? Probably Roberts. He's the most centrist right now. But Roberts is like it's so anti i law, like Congress delegated power, like proven by travel ban. Like, what is the basis of normal means to say that Roberts flips? Well, well, like the most anti you're the one who's power. reading an F that wouldn't happen. Like, I don't know what to tell you. We have fiat. You're like I understand. Fiat government. means that five justices have to vote for it. One of them has to flip. That's the only way the F gets happened. The yeah, most centrist Republican that would flip Roberts. is Roberts. You're the one who's making a ridiculous why. argument right now. No, Roberts is super pro Congress. Gorsuch like is one of the anti executive and anti Congress. Okay. That's some fun info, Tasia. Thanks for the FYI. <laughs> Too many of you. Stops and 
reverses the process of racist dehumanization in the minds of Americans. Now, comparing body counts is epistemologically bankrupt and shouldn't even be attempted when we know that we can do something right now to stop many deaths that we as Americans are directly responsible for. That's land. Voting is a statement on which side is preferable and ethics is a necessary part of that. Now, we are disproving your dissides by, call, by calling out how storytelling, a catastrophe, inflates the problem without adequate proof. We also claim that the epigenetic accumulation of toxic stress causes, uh, causes war by starting societal rage, which is an impact that is rocked and should be equally weighed against theirs if you accept their framing, CRC. Incorporation solves is perceived as ratification because the endpoint is the same. It leads to customary norms. That Syrian, that Syrian buyer now fiat solves Trump fuckery, and that's literally our inherent argument anyway. Now the card is about tweets and the travel ban decision, which he eventually complied with and then got overturned. This isn't an argument against their app. Yes, spillover. Customary norms are perceived as a statement of values, which matters when we're a global superpower because other countries want to continue to interact with us. Now impacts aren't generic; they're just big and important. Lunch site CIL is solving NOCO, Iran, democratic destabilization, environmental destruction, terrorism, China rise, and more. And also also cite statistics, uh, and also cite statistics that prevention solves child rights. Incorporation leads to investment in risk reduction, early warning, and peace building by giving context to international relations and shaping diplomacy in a way that moves us away from war as a possibility. T. We meet families applying for asylum are seeking permanent residence and will receive it after a year anyway. Uh, and, and legal immigrant includes refugees, asylum, and temporary. Delahunty and you, 13, a level, a level resident immigrant is, is, is about to include all persons who are immigrant to level permanent residence granted asylum with immigrants, refugees are admitted as not immigrants for a temporary status in the U.S. Legal immigration is a process on a status. Bureaucracy existing shouldn't preclude an important act. Solves limits and ground. Three groups of immigrants locks and links to core dissents and creates a stable mechanism for counterplan and dissent. Uh, links and competition is best for education. Family asylum seekers are the core of the topic. And cuteness, humanitarian concerns, it turns precision. Their definition is contrived and not substantiated by experts. The overwhelming legal consensus is that asylees are immigrants. The reasonability good is good enough. Compete against organizations cause a race to the bottom and substance crowd out. The critique framework for workable policy actions that teach practical modes of change. All other options are less educational because they teach false utopianism. They're also violent because they ignore the impacts that stem from not doing the 1AC. Now the 1AC critique how Trump is using the same discourses and values they're critiquing to violent ends. Our rights-based affirmation of children's equality rather than exceptionalism is compatible so perm do both uh, about sacrificing those currently suffering for the sake of ideological consistency is ethically unacceptable. Buyer 18. The absolute objectification of the child uh, that is represented from the fulfillment of a draft intelligibility from a vastly more uh, imposing social political trade. This trade is meant to be much longer. A run project that offers a little to children facing forced separation uh, to, to the department's uh, interest of uh, uh, this RC or resides in this uh, in this community is the only recognition of childhood as bona fide or rights by subjects, uh, subjects uh, that this represent objectification can be disrupted and uh, effectively resisted. <coughs> <coughs> Cross apply my defense of fiat from coercion. Now, there is no one explanation for governmentality. Sharp uh, 10. Uh, 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 more complex uh, affair than I was going Oh, uh, well, I want to explore the theory for multidimensional and interdisciplinary theory. We have to shun the hope that one method could uh, decipher current competency of such so, so political life. It would, be, uh, it would be to reopen critical theory uh, to the other intellectual disciplines. The, the all fails. A, abolishing borders doesn't eliminate the prioritization of children. Anarchists idolize children all the time. B, it spurs backlash. Abolishing borders prompts a massive increase in civilian militias that are even less accountable. The plans fiat is specifically key. That's also the buyer evidence from the 1AC. C, it doesn't solve the app. Families would still be separated once they get here. Duh. Ratification counterplan. It links to that a benefit includes the plan because family separation violates and the plan doesn't differentiate between branch actions anyway. Or if they if they don't fiat the plan is binding enforcement, then they can't overcome circumvention and a non self-execution rights or ratification corcoria 15 or ratification if ratification is isn't likely to impact the rights of the children who typically after uh with their rather than not self executing my medical people starts from medicating no local human rights conditions, uh no international standards remains in effect avoid solvency for both the vanishes government, seven declaration of not self execution the execution of the the standard approach over presumably on an international Eleven. That's required. That there's, there's an implicit and an, an implicit presumption against self-execution of industries that not specifically uh, contain uh, non-self-execution non self-execution RUDs. Uh, so, so the need to be non-self-executing of industries explicitly provide for a proper right to action. Populism. No link. Uniqueness. Courts have already applied CRC and CIL to uh, simply not as directly binding and not to feel any separation. That's theory and buyer. Not terms of populism globally are already attacking international institutions. Judicial incorporation is what determines whether those attacks succeed. Strangio. Seventeen. Geopolitical realignment. Populist national have a have a have a global backlash against human rights versus. Oh, uh, worst has to come with, with populism so speaking, 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 speaking the world and super powers, um, uh, Senate liberal internationalism uh, are giving way if it should be should prominent, prominent, prominently be directed, uh, uh, directed downward to national courts. It is here they're coming uh, against Trumpers and will be one of the last courts already tried to check Trump using con constitutional law and failed. That's by our seating the judicial sphere only strengthens populism. Using CIL to supplement constitutional interpretation deflects backlash and diffuses populism. Brand is uh, 18. Uh, courts must adopt an alternative or to counter populist, uh, to counter populist lawmaking to, to limit the ability to violate human rights opposition may end up fueling the polarized public discourse on which populism thrives. It doesn't imply that population should not be opposed 
was, oh, rather on populism is, is on the rise of her decision that refers to laws, legitimate legal sources, valuable in breaking the friend enemy distinction, dismantles the isolating, alienating discourse promoted by populists, of course, referring the entire, it affects the entire illegal ecosystem. Reactions are not monolithic populist backlash, is empirically offset by globalist pressure, but further incorporation in your card is about Eastern European activists and assumes they're closely following U.S. judicial law news, which is hilarious. Now, the dissent misunderstands the nature of war, presumes avoiding the link solves the impact. Rather, their impacts originate in structural and interpersonal relations that ensure their recurrence absent in the abstract conflict prevention, Cuomo, 96, where it was just not a about a person's ethical approaches due to do not attend to the ways in which war war is the very fabric of life, lead to crisis of base politics, keep or just go completely around and completely in a horrific state, not sponsor violence with the dramatic nature of logical conflicts, do not obfuscate the ways in which violence pervades societies or distort moral judgment in the face of what appears to be the inevitability of war. We access their impact better, but for evidence about a specific treaty as opposed to general populism, which this quo isn't even solving and has been around for a very long time. Midterms. Uh, Dems chance of retaking the Senate are super slim. Uh, this is Scott, 710, and Prince are on the defense incumbent. And then 10 states that the Democrats won't vote for the Senate. Democrats are narrowly trailing in Florida. No tornado in the enemy. 5248, a Republican majority state pretty consistently votes for Republican, and Trump is still popular there. Now, losing now to win later is a morally bankrupt electoral strategy that magnifies the political power of racism, murder, the ethical premise of the dissent. That was also in the case. Now, it's all about the base. And the GOP is winning on family separation. Cole, 18 journalists have been interested in Democrats about the Ohio White being Worried about the fallout from uh, family, uh, family separation. Well, well, what do we need uh, needs when the midterms as far as base be cut and for the Dems base to be prevented from voting through suppression, moving infants out of their arms of their mothers, excites the Trump's base. No vote switching on this issue to the GOP. Can't shake association with family separation. Relevant votes here have already swung. Now, seven nation shaking things happen every day. There's no reason this one is key. Adaptation solves warming. NASA citing IPCC 18. Adaptation of uh, adjusting for expected future climate threat. History people in societies have adjusted to one con. Cocoa changes in climate and, extre and extremes are climate changes. We will have to learn to adapt to cities and local communities around the world have been focusing on their own uh, climate problems. Governments have various are also getting better adaptation climate change is starting to be to be to be factored into fears and into, into a variety of developmental plans how to manage disasters how to predict uh, how to protect coastlines how to best manage land and forests and how to deal with water availability how to how to develop uh, resistant carbon how to protect energy that was into the card and I'll see that in the document cross six <coughs> maybe so not much talk about the office but yeah <laughs> anyone not ready all right, the Cuomo evidence about positive peace, mm -hmm. how does this not link to the second advantage about ILA? Yeah, so the second advantage about ILA is talking about preserving international institutions in the face of their degradation because of internal contradictions, okay. which is different than populism, which phrases it as an external threat by populists to break up the international order. That framing in the debate round is key. What's because, the distinction between those two things? Yeah, so it's, again, it's talking about how we in the educational space discuss peace. So I agree. the CRC advantage is talking about how maintaining international law by ensuring treaty follow through is necessary to maintain the social relationships that allow for peace. Okay. Um, and that promote peace. Why is populism not about social relationships? Yeah, because your framing of the link is about how populists are like super dangerous and are going to like break up the liberal order and it frames it as an event as opposed it frames war as an event okay. as opposed to peace as a structure. So you're, you don't think that your 1AC made an argument that there will be an event that is a war in the future? I think it made claims about the broader structural necessity of international law. Okay. Uh, the buyer evidence says that the court has already tried to check Trump through constitutional law, uh, but it didn't work, so we need to do international law. Why would Trump listen to international law over constitutional law when he's been anti-globalism Well, one fiat. pretty extensively? Fiat. The plain text says judiciary. It doesn't say anything about Trump falling through. Okay. Uh, it's also, the buyer evidence is also talking about how constitutional law, because of like questions on exactly how far it applies, and then also cross-play what we said in cross from before, uh, is different than international law, and specifically the international law of the CRC, which we think is critical, because the CRC has stronger guidelines in the court cases. Right, but what, what is the different motivating factor that Trump would, uh, that would make Trump follow the incorporation of uh, international law that right. wouldn't be the constitutional law was the motivating factor. Yeah, that so, uh, sorry, I must have been a little bit unclear before. The One of the main differences is in like the, how the legal decisions are made. So okay. when the constitutional law decisions are made, it they have been made in such a way that it's unclear as to who exactly has to be reunified with their families, which leaves Trump wiggle room to do like the shittiest thing that he wants. So to. the court decision that said that all five-year-olds have to be reunited with their family before the July process. 1st, the it process. said before July 1st, Okay. That didn't occur? Yeah, so there's a distinction between taking a little bit too long to fulfill a court decision and not applying, complying with the court decision. Um, and how, how, for example, would the uh, AFS kind of constitutional law 
uh, allow the for the, the er, international law instead of constitutional law would allow for the reunification of children with parents who've already been deported, um, yeah. different from the status quo. So we don't have that uh, mandated in the plan text. We think that there would probably be a bureaucratic... So what happens to those kids? We think that there would probably be an investigation into the best way to do that, and because they have a judicial order to do so, they would they, find the best way to do that and then proceed from there. They already have a judicial order, though, okay. to do that. So why have they not done that in the status quo? because they have interpreted that judicial order as not applying to those kids, which is different from the CRC, which makes explicit claims about the rights of children, which is, again, distinct from the court order previously, which was cool. super freaking vague. Topicality, the ratification counter plan, the coercion advantage, the CRC advantage. Topicality. Our interpretation is the affirmative must remove a direct legal restriction on the granting of LPR. That's the chain evidence. They don't meet two reasons. First is they are a restriction on non-LPR related processes. I see these can get LPR after many steps. The act doesn't remove a restriction on that. They remove the restriction on the initial granting of asylum. That use that's the USAS evidence from the ones he proves their effects T at best, which is bad because there's no bright line for what's close enough leading to an overproliferation of tangentially related acts, which will be impacted out below. Second, restrictions on asylum are only quotas and criteria that have been codified in statute. Their so-called restriction hasn't been codified. To I have 16 restrictions on legal immigration. First, quantitative quotas limit the number of people who can come set by law, various subcategories. Second, quality restrictions people are not allowed to live here. Second, two to one, 12 months, immigrants on the admission admissibility. Their counterinterpretation, there are multiple problems. First, is it doesn't define resolutional words. It defines legal resident immigrant, not legal immigration. That means that their interpretation isn't a predictable limit on the topic because negatives are focused on the specific wording. This also means you should throw out their interpretation. Resident modifies the interpretation, which means the evidence artificially limited by words not included in the topic. The impact of this is limits, which we explained a little bit below. Second is they don't meet their interpretation. It says persons granted LPR. The act doesn't grant LPR, but rather moves a restriction on gaining asylum, which doesn't grant LPR. That was proven by the UCI evidence read in the 1 and C. The impact to all of this is predictable limits. A predictable topic that is constrained by is critical to fair engagement by the negative. Their interpretation would unfairly alter the balance of prep towards the affirmative which undermines competitive equity. This comes first because debate is game. The only reason we place all for educational value. It also turns all their education offense less limited topics, encourages affirmatives to run to the margins and avoid clash, which means their app wouldn't be read on large scale, but also means the in-depth education over uh, education over it is impossible because the topic is too large for the negative to prepare for. Their process-oriented first arguments were impact turned above by all of our bio limits. Here. They say they solve limits. No, they don't. This was largely answered above, but their interpretation also removes an essential functional check. It includes temporary immigrants. It includes temporary immigrants with so skills competition for temporary protected status cap and links to green card data. This make, makes the barrier to being affirmative substantially lower and is independent linked to the limits argument. Their education argument. Literature determines the core of the topic, not with the app says. If we win our interpretation, then the app isn't the core of the topic. Depth is more important than the value of 
with one singular act. Also, most of us don't become go on to become policymakers, so you prioritize debates, impacts like fairness. Their precision arguments are interpretations, access precision best. It defines words, and the resolution comes from a social security immigration expert, which is how the federal government defines be, determines benefits. Their interpretations, one academic the academics take on not a consensus means are is more precise because it's what the federal government cites. Reasonability is bad, and you should default to convenient interpretation. First is limits disprove. If we win our interpretation, they aren't reasonable. Second is no bright line. All reasonable topical apps that explodes the topic links to all of our offense. Third is arbitrary. No standard definition for should judge intervention, which means the value of the rate. Fourth, search for the best definition is best at the beginning of the year. It sets a precedent for the season of the terms, determines community norms accountable. The counterpoint solves the entirety of the act. The 2AC messed up. They forgot to read the counterpoint complex, which means the debate is over. First, it solves the coercion advantage. None of their evidence is specific to the courts, just says the family separation is bad. The counterpoint solves this because it stops family separation in the same capacity as the act. The counterpoint is comparatively more effective because Congress has important mechanisms like funding threats, which uh, where the courts are useless when trying to force Trump. Second, is it solves the CRC advantage. None of their evidence says courts are key. In fact, most of it agrees that ratifying trees, their buyer in Davidson card says their ratification is sufficient and more than enough. Since the same signal, because it locks in U.S. commitments, they didn't make a permit. The 2AC, which is a big mistake, means that extra solvency is a reason to vote negative. Compare the counter plan versus the plan is two policies. Ignore any two, one AR permutation because that's unfair signal to the same that we can't be prepared for. They say it links to the benefit. This will, this will mostly be explained in the one AR, but our evidence is, is it great on this distinction? Not the same amount of backlash. The court is seen as unelected representatives, which aren't responsible to people, while Congress is an elected branch that matters because the lack of direct election makes the courts look as less credible, but credible and triggers the populist backlash our, our decide is about. And you should have died with the link on a sliding scale. Obviously, the statement is probabilistic, so you should still vote negative even if the counterplan links to it, just has to link less than a plan. They say the buyer evidence proves the counterplan gets their convinced. This card is written in the context of not ratifying the CRC. It doesn't assume the world of the counterplan when the U.S. ratified the CRC. It only says court intervention is necessary because we haven't ratified the treaty. They call core co and garment evidence about self-execution group them. These don't apply because we've written the counterplan to mandate self-execution. They assume that the counterplan doesn't specify self-execution and that the courts can just add it on. Obviously, fiat overcomes this because we get to feel what Congress does. They say no self their card next card about no self ratification fiat not solving this argument is silly it assumes no decision made court cases were about trees that didn't explicitly make a determination about self execution or non self execution the counterpoint is explicitly about self execution means that your interpretation argument is best also it doesn't have an impact we only need congress to enforce that was explained in the order so even if the courts don't fall on and don't uphold the counterpoint we have fiat that congress enforces it which should be sufficient as explained above the coercion advantage The plan is circumvented. It only grants asylum protection to those who have been separated. Trump will and has shown impetus to deny asylum applications anyways. Fiat can't solve because they only fiat the geotech strategic choice not to defend the entire federal government means that without com complementing legislation, the act fails. They have no cards that indicate that there will be complementing legislation. I mean, they can't access that. They also have, don't have a great answer to ICE besides fiat, which means they can't solve. ICE will obviously circumvent and try to do things under the radar or call it a different word, which will take a lot of years of court, court, uh, court suits, which aren't effect immediately effective to stop. Status quo dis Proves because the ICE, ICE and, the and the federal and then the executive are currently ignoring the the mandates to reunify families. There is also no impact to this event. The court has already ruled to stop family separation. Any reason the says code doesn't all prove Trump's circumstances, but the plan also can't help those who have already been separated. They've already been subject to the abuse and have the effects already locked in. Now you should evaluate you till first and extinction should come first. First is objectivity. We're impact turning their arguments. Objective analysis is best. Subjective analysis force the creation of hierarchies that reproduce their impacts in the in the first place. Only assume the impact on all events. Second is unique value. Yes, lots of things might that bad might happen, but extinction represents a unique threat because it's irrecoverable. Nothing can ever change. That means our impact comes before theirs. Third is their impact is based on subjective value. Death is bad, but value to life is subjective and can prove in the future. So declaring that life isn't worth living is kind of paternalistic and doesn't assume that potential immigrants' lives can improve in the future. Also, you should filter all these arguments through counterplan and turns case arguments. If we win either of those, we've proven we didn't ignore all their consequences, just that they did proof that they either don't solve it sufficiently or the counterplan proves that we solve it better. The TV Arguments about probability. The cards we've read in the internal to be positive proves the truth of the data. Anything else means you should zero out all arguments and vote negative on presumption because we can never assume all the answers in the app as well. Their standard for the dissent in the in the one AC cross is that we need one card to explain all components of this. That is true. The popular is that one card gets us all the way from the uniqueness link and to war, which means we hold our hold are held to a higher standard than they do because they have much higher internal links and they have zero car, cards explaining how the app interacts with Trump. Which means they also don't access the larger war impacts. It's ours about generic toxic stress. Not speak to the means all causes and other instances of stock to stress overwhelmed. They saw one small cause, obviously not overwhelming. Also, make them identify specific scenario before giving them advantage, CRC advantage.
The app signal fails, takes out the app but not the camera plan, makes this a net benefit to the camera plan. Our evidence has a lack of enforcement mechanisms and proves Trump's ignores the court. Also, in periods, he's ignored Twitter rules and has been slow to follow reunification orders. That means they can't overcome status quo objections. This doesn't take out the camera plan because the only thing occurs because Congress is compliant and doesn't check the executive like the camera plan would. They don't get fiat because they only fiat the courts in their plan text. The app also doesn't spoke. This is empirically disproven. Europe, Asia, Latin America have all moved forward absent U.S. pressure, even while the U.S. has ignored human rights in the past, even in the context of the app. 191 countries ratified the CRC even before the U.S. did, which means they have a new, no unique warrant for spillover. The 2AC is very rhetorically powerful. It doesn't cite any statistics or empirical example, which means you should prefer our 2 and C analysis. These also no impact to advantage. No countries are really asking now that ones that are obviously don't mind the U.S. Iran and North Korea were signed by the 2AC. They don't care about the U.S. CRC policy. If anything, the AFP makes it worse. And Pierce Garway, away. You can't reach a consensus. Outside interference means they don't understand domestic political dynamics and revolutionaries can weaponize anti-foreign sentiments to increase in civility. Also, I'll finish the Van von der Schoenberg card 18. The international which is defaults of modeling conflict departures planning for rather than common conflict many examples three standard which will think you can assuming the great associate normative development even if possible would automatically lead to fewer conflicts or without conflicts or remain an illusion that we only fee out the judiciary, right? Yeah. Okay, which branch of the federal government enforces laws? Uh, the executive. Okay, making sure we're clear on that. Your counter plan only yeah. fee the so, legislature. Yeah. How do you I agree with you. I guess same trap? one, our evidence makes a distinction here. It says that Trump is only able to circumvent because Republicans in Congress aren't are allowing him to do whatever he wants. The counterpoint would be up around that. Okay. Second, the 2 and C made an argument about funding cutoffs. Those are more effective than the judiciary. Okay, just on that, that's fine. Do. I have a question about the first part. Yeah. Uh, that assumes a certain logic to Trump. Um, the reason that he's defying court court orders, or defying court orders, that's debatable, um, in the status quo is because he has decided that he doesn't think that's real law. Why won't he just decide that about Congress if they start enforcing things against him? So I guess our, our evidence makes the distinction for us and says that when Congress changes the laws and is able to implement it, implement it effectively, is able to do so. Second, Congress actually has an enforcement mechanism. Apps, unlike the plan, courts can tell the executive what to do, but ultimately they can't enforce wait, it. Wait, 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 what's Congress's enforcement yeah, mechanism? Yeah, I was getting there. So okay. our, the enforcement mechanism is funding cutoffs. Congress determines appropriation and funding for, okay. for the executive. Um, does, does your counter plan fiat funding cutoffs in the face of noncompliance? Yes. Where? It says to enforce the treaty, obviously, if the country okay, is doesn't, enforcing that means they fund, cut funding. But that leaves what means enforcement up to the legislature. That's awesome. Okay. Um, on the link to the net benefit question, yeah. uh, your link is about European populists being really angry about the U.S. government doing thing with the treaty. Where is a piece of, or like a line in your evidence that is logical that says that they would actually like throw a massive revolt and cause the yeah. impact? Give me if the one US second that thing. makes the distinction. Okay. Uh, incorporation of law into domestic, into, into law, into domestic constitutional law by the courts by depriving people of influence or policy through legislation. Courts should not incorporate into domestic law unless Congress has authorized them to do so. Okay, that says that courts shouldn't do the thing. Where is the line about a it's link a, at all? Well, I, I, that would be explained more in the one in R. It was just saying that's okay. a differentiation. Uh, that's great. So you links. can't differentiate the links between the counterplan and the case. Yes. Okay. Okay. I mean, if the populace you will is a explain, question, you will don't explain the link in greater detail. I did not assume the dissent and the two and C. That's just the distinction between the counterpoint and the app and how people view it. Okay, how European populists view U.S. judicial action. Our evidence makes a yeah. distinction. Okay, um, the non-enforceability or the non-execution part, um, there is a piece of evidence that says that adding the uh, self-executing portion of the adding the self-execution word to the treaty will actually cause the courts to interpret it as self-executing. Do you have a card on judicial interpretation of self-execution? So that's how self-executing works. No, I'm asking if you have a card on how ju the, judici the judiciary interprets self-execution So the, the treaty. card you read for us, or the card you read actually makes this distinction for us. It makes two arguments. One, it either if treaties are non-self-executing, which means courts obviously don't do it, or if treaties don't take a stance, courts won't implement it, but the so, counter plan takes a stance. So you don't have a card on judicial interpretation. Cool.
one in our demo debate is up. Are you trying to sway our lobbies to vote for you? I also waved at other people who are not in the lab. They're cheating. No. Yeah, I'm just not in the lab. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> no clipping. <laughs> that, that's only true about the game Monopoly. And you. Don't even get me started. I can't even play with them anymore. <laughs> So frustrated. So frustrated. Still need to do a bunch of Has everyone got the doc? Yes. 